Okay, um, everybody that's part of any news uh, organization, um, this is specifically to like groups like Alex Jones or Paul Watson or Art Bell or a lot of the other news agencies that picked up that $100 bill thing. I think it's so critical and I'm asking you with all due respect and I do mean that I'm, I'm not being um, critical in any way. I'm trying to um, ask you the best way I know how to put this information to a critical test. And the reason is because the $100 bill decryption is not significant whatsoever unless there's something that makes it significant. And what makes it significant is the proof that came before it of all the other U.S. currency. Um, Mr. Watson, I, I watched your video um, that you did using the decryption and you said it's a bit of a stretch on the Pentagon and I can understand your comment because the view that you had of the building of the Pentagon next to the image on the US currency um, it is a bit of a stretch however what I've done is I've taken all the correct views of all the buildings that have been bombed that includes the Alfred P. Moore building in Oklahoma City I have put it in computer programs and identified very clearly that that building is on the old $20 bill. Um, I'm asking you to put it to the test the same way I did in this video. Um, the Twin Towers, um, same thing, put it to the test. Uh, if you use Paint Shop Pro, the program Paint Shop Pro, or any of the Adobe maybe uh, programs that you can increase magnification and look at the bills with close scrutinization, be able to scrutinize it very closely. Um, also, the Pentagon, if you look at uh, the Pentagon building itself is a long rectangular building with three rows of square windows. The explosion is, you know, in the middle of this image. Um, please look at this video and be very critical. I'm asking you to be very critical of it. But I'm asking you also to do one thing. Take the bills yourself. Get the bills. Get all of them. Get the old $20 bill. If you call a bank and ask them for the old 20 they'll get you one. Get the old $20 bill, get the new $20 bill, and get all these bills that I've shown you the images on, get every single one, and do it in the same uniform folding pattern that I'm showing on this video. Put it in a program so you can scrutinize the image. Take that same image that I'm showing you on the US currency, and take the image of the building that I've given you, and put them in opacity and lay them on, one on top of another, just do it. Because here's, here's the most important thing. You're risking your life. Alex Jones is risking his life. Paul Watson is risking his life. Art Bell, all these people that are sounding the alarm about Obama and all the stuff that's going on, we've all risked our lives. But what a waste it would be to risk your life and not know who the real culprit is and not know the real bottom line truth. I know it looks like it's the Bilderberg, doesn't it? It's not. They're part of the machine, but you haven't gotten to the very bottom line. Once you get to the very bottom line, everything will make sense. Everything that's going on makes perfect sense. Once you know who the war is between, and it's between Satan and God. And if you'll just look at this one video, I'm, I am imploring you, please, please put this to the test. Please do it. I, I'm asking you to please do that. And watch the rest of this video now, and then make whatever comments you want, and I'll just leave that with you. That's it.
We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth.
Ephesians 2. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. You're free, and freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos and order, but we order out of chaos, but we will. Order out of chaos, but we will. It'll take time to restore order out of chaos, but we will. Denial. It is the most common of all human emotions. Denial is the refusal to accept a past or present reality and it is employed as a self-defense mechanism by the subconscious mind of a host in an attempt to protect emotional and psychological well-being. Denial is rooted in fear. Jesus said, fear not. Time.